On today's episode, I'm talking all things peppermint, mocha, peppermint, chocolate, whatever. It's the season. At least it is for me. It's the start of Christmas over here. So I love my Greek yogurt cheesecake. You guys know that. I've made it pumpkin. I've made it cake batter. You see my chocolate raspberry. Go check out an old episode if you missed that base recipe. But I just threw it together as a peppermint mint Oreo version for the season. And so with this cheesecake, it is a lot of protein per serving. I'm gonna pull up the macros and tell you. But I used one drop of peppermint oil one drop, it goes, a lot goes a long way. If you don't have peppermint oil, you can use peppermint extract. I would start with a quarter teaspoon, but remember, a little goes a long way. And so that was my one addition. And then I added a little bit of the mocha skinny syrup to the batter. I used chocolate cake mix, chocolate pudding mix, and then I put my thin mint Oreos on top. And I'm gonna bake it up. So let me show you that recipe. It's super easy. Throw it together in minutes, pop it in the oven. It'd be great to bring to any festivity this season. Okay, let's talk macros on this one. This one is a bit higher because I am using Oreos, but it's part of it to make it my peppermint mint cheesecake. So if you make this cheesecake eight slices, which I'm not gonna lie, I just make it as four because I like to have the whole quarter of the cheesecake when I eat it. But eight slices would get you 143 calories per slice. That is not that much for cheesecake. So that is of a nine inch like pie pan. That's what I'm going off of. And then that would be four grams fat, 15 grams carbs, and nine grams protein. So I always double it and I just have two slices. But for me, 300 calories for dessert, it's not that bad, especially when it's that much protein. And I enjoy it, something I can have any time of day. So those are the macros. Oh. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else isn't this how it's supposed to be in our Christmas memories Okay, here comes the fun part. Mint Oreos. So I'm gonna get the thin ones and I'm gonna use eight thin mint Oreos. I'm just gonna crumble them up on top because I think it's visually more appealing. And then this will be my version of a peppermint, chocolate, mint, high protein cheesecake. So let me go ahead and get those cookies on there and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, oven set at 350, I'm gonna pop this in. It usually takes like 30 to 35 minutes. 33 always seems to work for me. So I'm gonna try out 33. And then once it has cracks like normal cheesecake, I'll pull it out and let it rest for eight hours or overnight. I always forget to say that. Okay, heading to the oven. There it is, the finished product. So it's really normal when it comes up to like out to puff like that. It will fall, so don't be shocked if it ends up falling. But look at how tasty that looks. Okay, I'm gonna let it cool. Well, good thing I made it at 11.30 a.m. because it'll be ready at 7.30 and the boys go down. Then I'm gonna have two slices for dessert. Yum, yum. 
Okay, usually I would do a taste test on camera, but I'm not gonna have this till like 8 p.m. tonight. So I'm already gonna be snuggled up getting ready to watch a Christmas Hallmark movie. Oh yes, I am that person. Uh, but just gar I can just guarantee you, it's really, really good. So go and make this one. You won't be disappointed. Okay, it's cloudy, cooler day in Texas. So the lighting's a little bit off in here. It is daytime, so I'm having coffee. I wanted to show you what I'm up to for my peppermint mocha coffee. All right, first, is anybody else, do you have to drink it out of seasonal mugs? I know, I do. One of my cousins got me this last, <laughs> last year and it says slay all day. And it's adorable because it's a dog pulling a sled and it's pretty, or pulling a sleigh, it's pretty cute. So anyway, first, it always has to be a holiday mug. So, got my holiday mug. Two things, I'll either just do regular old coffee and I get the Coffee Mate Peppermint Mocha. So I really, really do like this one. Yeah, I do the zero sugar only cause it, I can just have more of it for less fat, less carbs. And then I also like the Super Coffee brand of their seasonal peppermint mocha. It's really good. And then if you want, you know, more of an almond milk one, the Califia Farms version of peppermint mocha is really good too. So it just depends if you're dairy or if you like high fat or if you like almond milk. Those are all three good options. And then other times if I'm like making it on my own, so I have my little Nespresso like frother steamer thing. So I'll steam up some milk, like regular milk or almond milk. Typically it's almond milk, that's what I have on hand for myself. And then I mix in with it though one tablespoon of half and half. Okay, so one tablespoon, half and half, with a little bit of almond milk, probably like a quarter cup to a half a cup. I mix that up in my frother, I get it nice and frothy, and then I do a little mocha twist with the skinny syrup. Have you guys had this one? Okay, so it's the skinny syrup mocha. So I do about a tablespoon. I play around with this, because this stuff is sweet. So then I add that with my little bit of half and half in almond milk, and it's really nice. And then if I wanna make it more pepperminty, Sometimes I just crush an actual peppermint on top, which is really nice and it's kind of festive. But I also will use like peppermint oil. Let's see if I can grab a, okay. But this stuff is really strong. Like even a drop is pretty potent in your coffee. So it has to be like a dabble or you could use peppermint extract. Again, it can get a little strong. So sometimes I just do the mocha flavor with it and then a little bit of crushed peppermint on top. But that's kind of how I'm enjoying my coffee right now. So just a good old like peppermint creamer or I do like a mocha, I would call it this mocha latte maybe is what you would call it. And then I also really like this one with a little bit of the peppermint extract in my shakes. So I have the chocolate protein powder right now for my blizzard and I mix the mocha in there with a little drop of that peppermint and then I crush some thin mints on top of that. Thin mints or the thin mint Oreos is really nice too. So that's my other thing I'm really digging. Okay, so that's a wrap on today's episode. Just my version of peppermint, mocha, Oreo, high protein, cheesecake, low calorie, and how I'm digging peppermint mocha right now. So what are your flavors for the season? What are you into? What kind of recipes do you like to tweak to make them more calorie macro friendly? Or which ones do you just go all in on? I feel like I have to do an episode with Christmas cookies, because my mom used to bake maybe 15 versions and they'd all be in Christmas tins on the top of the refrigerator. That's what I grew up with. And with her not being here this year, I feel like I should do that in honor of her. In fact, one of her wishes was, hey, can you just make sure that my grand boys remember and know me? And part of me showing them that is through baking because she loved to bake for her family. So I just might have to do an episode with Christmas cookies, bars, fudge, chocolate covered nuts, all the good stuff. So let me know below. What do you wanna see? What are you digging this holiday season? And hey, I just wanna say thanks for stopping by. Happy holidays!